Okay, now we are going to have a demonstration of IELTS speaking part one. Uh, it's not going to be a test. It's going to be a sort of demonstration where I'm going to ask some questions and I'm going to receive some answers. So let's have your introduction first. Your good name, please. Uh, my name is Muhammad Omar. Okay, that's good. Now, remember, whenever you go for your IELTS test, the first question they ask you, because they know your name, they've got all the details, candidate number and all that. And uh, pre-test, I mean, before the test, they will check all these things and then they start the recording device and then they say, okay, my name is this, examiner, uh, candidate number is this, candidate's name is this and all that. Okay, so uh, in actual exam, they will not ask you your name. It's not the question. Okay. Actual IELTS test will start with one question and that is do you work or study? Do you work or study? Now if you work and you can handle all the questions related to work, you should say yes I work. And if you study, you can say and if you are a stay at home lady, we don't use the word housewife, housewife is not appropriate word. You use the word homemaker, homemaker is the best word, right, housewife means wife of the house no not good word homemaker or I take care of my family right so you can give them this option now the purpose is that they should not give you any question where you cannot answer if he says I'm a student and I'm talking to him about job experience now these questions are foolish for him I shouldn't ask so examiners want to scan you and they want to ask you questions accordingly right mm -hmm. so do you work or study well I'm doing job in a bank called Habib Bank AG Zurich and I'm working as a NOC analyst. My primary job is doing the monitoring for the banking system uh, which is uh, for example visa services, ATM services. Okay. And, uh, That's these are the okay now remember one thing when you answer this first question only examiner wants to know this thing so answer should be short okay. probably two sentences three sentences maximum three for example do you work or study now please answer again do you work or study i do job i do a job and make a compound sentence now i taught you five i taught you about five tenses you need to make compound sentences okay. what is a compound sentence when you join two sentences together what's your first sentence i do a job okay. and i am working with a bank as a so this is what we call compound sentence. Okay. Compound sentences are for bench score 7, 7.5, 8 and above. And simple sentences, I'm doing a job, I'm working in a bank, I'm going there every day, I'm enjoying my job. Simple sentences. They are for bench score 5, 5.5 or maximum 6. So if you're looking at higher bench score, you must make compound sentences. And if you don't know how to, very simple, watch a short video on YouTube and you'll be clear about it. Okay, okay. now let's go on. Uh, <clears throat> what do you do in your free time? Well, I have um, a difficult schedule in my every week. Okay, so I have to cover three uh, shifts in a week. So in a weekdays, I didn't get. Um, I don't get. I don't get much time. Mm -hmm. So in the weekends, I usually you know sleep for a while and get my sleep okay. covered. Okay. Now one more thing. One more thing. I didn't tell you before. Okay. Very important. Whenever you answer you have to answer in three steps okay these three steps are i mean and, and by the way you know if you ask me any question from IELTS speaking i can answer with my eyes closed why because i know this three step thing so this three step is number one answer the question directly answer the question directly they don't need any uh, extra detail Okay. They don't need any, you know, backup uh, or, or what do we call it, starting story. Okay. They don't need anything. So just answer the question directly. Number one, step number one. Step number two, elaborate your answer. Mm -hmm. Examiners get irritated with the answers which are not elaborated ones. For example, what do you do in your free time? Sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, how often do you go to the restaurant? Once a week. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. They don't like such type of answers. There are several students in IELTS speaking test where examiners have to struggle a lot. They have to put in a lot of effort to, uh, to, to make them express their ideas and all that. So 
you should follow this three step formula number one answer the question directly hit the question your first sentence should hit the question after that the second thing is you need to elaborate your answer and maximum in two to three sentences okay. and the last point is conclude your answer many people don't conclude their answers so you should conclude your answer as well right okay. now let's go on i'll ask you a different question uh what do you do to relax okay. sorry yeah Okay, this is the, I mean, this is my hesitation, you can say, are the problem. Okay, okay. okay. don't worry, relax. Okay. Just this, is, uh, this is what I feel I'm lacking of, okay. you know, to answer how to mm -hmm. react that particular mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. This is what I feel for myself, this is okay. my problem. Don't worry, we'll do it all together. Okay, this is don't worry what, at all. You know, like, you, you ask me a question, you know, at the same time, okay. it's flushed. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. So okay. let's come come again, okay? okay? You'll be fine. This happens sometimes, you're blank and all that. So, what do you do to relax? For In order relaxation. to relax, my. Listen, yeah. listen, yeah. listen. You don't need to go for real answers. Mm -hmm. Pretend. One thing is pretend, and second word is improvise. Improvise and the third thing is you should be a good storyteller. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And answer answer all the questions excitedly, happily, cheerfully. Examiners will be influenced a lot. <coughs> they are already bored. Out of hundred candidates, 80, 90 candidates are those who bore the examiners. Right? So if you are the one cheerful one, what do you do to relax? Oh well, I do a lot of things to relax myself. First of all, I go to the cinema because a good movie literally relaxes me a lot. On the other hand, I take my family out for barbecue or dinner. So this is how I revitalize myself. See that? Okay, so don't worry and make up your mind. When I answer, I don't think. I don't think because I'm a teacher, that's why I'm <laughs> Okay, that's why I'm here in Dubai sitting with you. Okay, so don't worry. Okay. What do you do to relax? Okay, to relax on the weekends, I normally do a long drive uh -huh. and spend, spend some time with my family. Okay, we do go for shopping and we do some, you know, some cafeteria. Okay, that's good. Do you prefer to spend your free time at home or outside? Well, majority I feel to, you know, feel easy to stay at home, but uh, if, you know, going outside is also makes me happy, but preferably I will go with the staying at home okay. and watching movie. Okay, good. Home. What do you usually do on the weekends? I usually watch uh, TV serials or uh, the movies with my wife and we spend some time with cooking and this okay. is how we Spend that's good so all clear and now whenever you practice and you know the best way to practice IELTS speaking sometimes you say I need a partner I need someone who can help me now I've given you all the instructions and I'll give you a book by the way don't worry about that okay, okay it's going to be like a PDF form okay. so what you have to do open the book in the book there are questions read the question look at front anywhere look in front and then answer the question for example and change your voice for example when you read the question okay uh, how often do you go for shopping well I go for shopping once a month especially when I receive my salary and I've got to do some grocery shopping as well so whenever it's the fifth of each month then I go for shopping and I really enjoy shopping that's it read the next question answer although you cannot correct yourself but remember another important thing because you know the way you guys are, I've noticed one thing, your English is good. But to put your answers to IELTS pattern, that is very important. I've seen some students with very good English, they get very low bench score in speaking. Why? Because they don't understand the pattern or what is it that examiner wants from you. So you need to focus that as well, right? So if you answer like examiner's mindset, direct answer to the, some people, they start from the background. If I ask a question, what do you do in your free time? Free time is very important in life. Nowadays, life has become so busy, people don't have free time. And people are dying to get some free time. So what is the question? What do you do in your free time? So never do anything like that. This is what I call irrelevant question. Okay. okay? All right. Thank you. 
So next, whenever you answer, be confident, focus the question, helping verb of the question, do, does.